Okay, friends, I'm showing you what I made for dinner. Um, we're having these like massive burrito bowls, but it's just because I don't have any sort of side dishes. So lime rice, uh, pinto black bean concoction, and then fajita peppers, onions, and tomatoes. This still has to cook a little bit longer, and then I'll put the green dragon sauce on top. I am running late. Um, one of my projects today took longer than I expected, and I'm going to leave in 15 minutes to go get Peter, and I still have to do my makeup um, and just pack us all up and everything. So hopefully this all works out okay. We are seeing Frozen 2 at 7 p.m., but it's like first come first serve and there is like limited seating I guess so like you have to get there like over an hour and a half in time because it's like a new or like a early release or something like that um so we have to get there early so I actually only left five minutes later than I wanted to so that worked out great um there is some pretty heavy traffic but Honestly, this left lane is moving and I think I'll be alright. I think I think I'll get there right just a little bit after five. I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready for some frozen. What? We're eating our burrito bowls. Turn left onto International Drive. Oh. Look. Siri. Letting us know where to go. <laughs> Ooh, did you did you like your burrito bowl? I freaking oh god, I devoured it. Yeah, and there there's was a, a lot. There's an IAPA Expo going on right now. Ooh. Uh oh. Turn right onto International Drive, then make a U-turn at Hawaiian Port. Siri. Oh, I just called Siri. 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 You don't know what you're talking about. Look at this. We're at the Regal. Wait, do you guys know this is IMAX? Plus we have Jess and Katie. IMAX? Yeah. This Frozen movie yeah. that we're gonna watch is an iMac. Also, hi! <laughs> They're coming with us to go see Frozen, and I have a can of cane. And. Wait, this is an exit, I think. How do we get in this place? Over here, over here. I see it. We also have to get patted down. We didn't bring a big camera, cell phone. Probably gonna get told not to cook, bring it in. But we'll let you know how this goes if I have to put away the phone now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're almost, almost, almost there. Hi, Max. All right, goodbye to the camera. Goodbye to the cell phone. I mean, it's got to get given up in that little table over there. Time to do Frozen. If you can guess what this movie is in three, two, one, you're my friend forever. We are home. Here is going on a run. Yes, I am. Four miles. First run since really Saturday. I think I ran, but I stopped, right? Or did I not? I don't remember, but it's going to be great. Um, and so it's going to get you back in the swing of things. Yeah, four miles today, ten miles tomorrow. Um, I'm looking up something oh gosh. for you. There, if you are someone who likes to listen to music before you see a movie, if you've listened to the Frozen 2 soundtrack, um, the next right thing, that song. What are you, what are you looking for? So there's a song in there, and it has nothing to do with the story, and I won't even tell you who sings it. But there is a song in there about, like, feeling hopeless, but having to move on. And it's called The Next Right Thing. Because the one line says, you are lost, hope is gone, but you must go on and do the next right thing. Can there be a day beyond this night? Like, <laughs> literally during that, we were just sobbing. Yeah, wow. It was such a beautiful song. And it, was, and it could hit so many different people in so many different ways. Right, because it, it's hard. Because like that, like, that, that line right there says there's no hope or hope is gone. But like, we do have hope. And it doesn't mean that your hope is gone. But it's just like in that moment, like in that time, like your you hope is gone. Fathom. You can't fathom hope again things being okay but the whole point of the story behind that song is like you know at the end of the at at that moment all you will you only have one choice there's only one possible thing to do and it's the next right thing yeah so even if it's not fun good. or you don't have hope yeah there is a right thing to do and that's the yeah. only possible thing to do next. we'll talk a little bit more about the movie no spoilers, no spoilers um later once you're back yeah. but i'm gonna do a little bit of work so that tomorrow i can do more cleaning and prepping and packing 
You love running. I know. I just. It's 5 a.m. and you're about to go run Disney 5K. Daytona 50K is in less than three weeks. You got this. You do. I know. I know. I do. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. My left foot hurt when I put on my shoe. I don't know why. I don't know why my mind's doing this to me. I'm gonna go on my run. I'll be back and, and it'll be great. And run to that song and just be so empowered. Yeah. So I am a super huge list person. I always have like a to-do list, long-term, short-term. What I, we need to buy. This is like my quick dinner for the week. I'm also gonna make a little shopping list on here. But here I am going to situate everything that Tyler needs for Eve while we're gone. I think I said it while we were live that Tyler is watching Eve. He's also like apartment sitting, which is really cool that he'll like be able to be in our neighborhood for the week. Um, so yeah, Eve is going to stay in her own comfortable home. Um, which is really nice for her and then hopefully like a little getaway for Tyler too. So I'm gonna get that situated. She does have like some specific things that she needs to have like eating wise um, and just other little tidbits of knowledge about her. He, kn he knows even, she knows him. So that won't be an issue, but just like I am very like, I just like to have everything planned out. So hopefully you won't mind my List of notes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to fall asleep on the couch. Good morning. Good morning to you. And yeah. You and you. Guess who woke up at 5 a.m.? Actually, Eve saved the day and had us go into bed. She just Eve woke us up at yeah. 5 a.m. Yeah. So. Fall asleep on the couch. Fall asleep on the couch. Any final words on Frozen? We kept on saying we talk about it. Oh man. Um. It's, I feel like it's not as kid, like, centric as the first one. Yeah. I think there's a lot of things, I think kids are going to love it. It is rated PG. It is PG. I think it's, kids are going to love it, but it is more adventurous, and they're, like, there's a lot of undertones that only adults will get. Which I think was made clear, like, with the preview, like, people were already saying that, like, Frozen 1, sisters in Snowman go on an adventure, Frozen yeah. 2, like... You know. Lord of the Rings. Frozen. Right, <laughs> exactly. But it's very good. I think yeah. there's a, there's enough in there between Olaf's comedic breaks and some other Olaf characters. Olaf is funny in a different way. I think yeah. people are really gonna like it. And I think it's gonna be really quotable. Yeah. Um. He does that a couple times. <laughs> um, and it was not what I expected. And I want to go see it again right now. <laughs> we should see it. See it. We can see it. Can we oh. see it tonight? No, it doesn't come out until. Tomorrow night. Let's go tomorrow night. We've talked about not going to sleep tomorrow because we leave so early Friday. Yeah, so our flight is at 6 a.m. and we have to Maybe leave we'll at Maybe we'll go see Frozen 30. tomorrow night. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. I'll insert the little daily message. It's good to be home. November 19th. Walk with the dreamers, the believers, the courageous, the cheerful, the planners, the doers, the successful people with their heads in the clouds and their feet on the ground. Wolford Peterson. That sounded like the beginning of a Casey Neistat movie or video on YouTube. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>